What's going on, everybody? This is Island Hopper TV Hotels coming to you from the Embassy Suites by Hilton here in Santo Domingo, Dominican Republic. So, the hotel lobby is on the second floor, so you gotta go up. See, you got an Applebee's here. We also have a restaurant at the lobby. Okay. Yeah, so the guy at the attendance here is very helpful. He helped me find a convenience store. There's a Naco Plaza basically on the other road. So thank you to the guy downstairs. And now we are headed up to the lobby. You can see we kind of go up like this. And once we're at the lobby, I will also show you the mezzanine and the pool on the fifth floor. So they say this is the second floor, but as you can see, it's about four or five floors up. So there's the check-in area. AC works fantastic in here. So this is a very nice building. From what I understand, it was originally set up to be a office space, but they changed it. It's a very nice hotel. Wait till you see my room. Here's the bar. They close at 11 here. The food stops, I think, around 10 because I arrived at 11.05 last night and they'd already stopped serving food. Or, I'm sorry, I arrived at 10.55. So now we'll go up to the mezzanine and then to the pool level and show you around there. So I'm actually going to try and walk up to the mezzanine here. You can see this is like a conference center, maybe. Got the business center right there, two computers. Then it looks like a conference room here. Very nice. Not gonna really film in here too much because most of you are just wanting to see the hotel. So I will now go up to the pool level and show you there. Okay, so here's the pool. I've yet to go for a swim or anything. Oh, I need my key. Okay, so here we are. No one's even out here. This could be a good thing for you. They got a jacuzzi there. Looks like they got a bar around the corner. I'm gonna take off my sh sandals here and see if the pool jacuzzi is actually, so the pool's cold, and so is the jacuzzi. I don't know if it's always cold, but it's bubbling. Why would you want hot jacuzzi in this heat? <laughs> right, that's probably why. Just right out in the open sunlight, I don't see much shade up here, so. Be prepared for that. Let me just give you a view. Looking down, that way is actually the ocean. Caribbean, I should say, the sea. Got a little bit of shade right here on these tables. Bit of shade behind here and where the bar is. Hola! Thank you, sir. Just looking. All right. Here is the fitness room. It's on the same level as the pool. Why is that door doing that? Yeah, it's very cold in here. All right.
All right, now for my final review of the Embassy Suites. So I've also stayed at the Aloft Hotel. I'm now at the Homewood Suites, and I've been around the Sheraton and the Renaissance Hotel, as well as being right across the road from the JW Marriott. So I have a lot of experience with the luxury hotels here in Santo Domingo as I make this review for Embassy Suites. So Embassy Suites was the first one that I stayed at. Now, the good thing is when you go downstairs, there's an Applebee's if you don't want the restaurant. As far as the actual property itself goes, so far it's more impressive than the Aloft and the Homewood Suites. The room that I had was also very impressive. The location in and of itself is closer to the colonial area, but the road and the area isn't the best compared to what I'm seeing here, say where the JW Marriott is or the Homewood Suites. The Aloft, uh, I found that to be a very good area, but uh, I didn't really walk around there. So as far as the area goes, I would say it's pretty good, safe, but not the best. You can find better areas. Uh, maybe on Abraham Lincoln or on Winston Churchill. But the property itself, I would say, is a 4.5 star quality. It's a four star hotel. Uh, I don't know if I'd say it's a five star. I guess by Santo Domingo standards, it's a five star and it could very well be in most other cities. But I'd give it a four star. Um, the internet was super fast. So that was a definite uh, thing that I noticed right off the bat. That's huge for someone who works on the internet. Um, the food was pretty good. The pool was nice, as you saw, so I don't have any grievances with any of that. Um, the room was big. The bed was comfortable. It would have been nice if there was a tub in there, <laughs> but, you know, that's just a waste of water, probably, and soap. But overall, right now, I'm at the Homewood Suites. I'm trying out these hotels letting you guys know about Santo Domingo. I would say it would be nice if they had some luxury hotels nearby the Colonial Zones. The closest ones are right there on the Malacone. Those are gonna be the Sheraton, the Crown Plaza, and the Renaissance Inn. Of all those, I would say the Crown Plaza or the Renaissance look like the best. They're hotel casinos. The Sheraton uh, looks okay, but not as good as the other two. It could be possible that the Sheraton is the best one out of all three of them, but we don't know yet. I'd have to stay there and give you guys a review. If you guys want that, let me know. Um, but yeah, I'm enjoying my time in Santo Domingo. And I did enjoy my stay at the Embassy Suites. I would have to say it's probably, by my standards, a 4.7 to a 4.8. Staff was accommodating. Staff was friendly. Staff was helpful. Um, so everything was good with that. The location just was one thing that probably uh, stood out. Although some may say that is a great location. So it just depends. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you guys on the next one from Dominican Republic.